As of today, iPad OS 26 is officially out. So grab your iPad, get the update, and I'm gonna quickly run through some features and apps that you're gonna wanna check out with this new update. There's lots of new fun stuff, so I'm gonna give you the highlights and let's get into it. The first major update is Liquid Glass. This is Apple's new design software. It doesn't change any of the functionality of your iPad, but it changes the overall look and vibe. So now everything has a slightly translucent glass-like appearance. So to edit this on your iPad, you will just edit your iPad home screen, go to the top corner, hit edit, hit customize, and then you'll see a few different options. You have light mode, dark mode, clear, and tinted. Light and dark mode are just like before, your classic light and dark mode options. Clear makes all of your apps and widgets translucent and see-through, so you can really see that liquid glass. And then tinted is what has the most customization options, so you can actually change the color that you want all of your apps and widgets to be tinted. So you can really edit your iPad home screen to be exactly what you want now and I always love having more customization options so very excited about this and the liquid glass setting it just transfers to your entire iPad so the control center different settings it's all this new liquid glass design next we have the new menu bar so this is the same menu bar that you might see on your MacBook and that's why a lot of people are talking about how your iPad is slowly becoming a computer or at least it looks like it with the controls in the upper left hand corner you also have new control buttons, which again are the same as you will see on your MacBook. So this just makes it easy to X out, minimize, or go full screen. The next big update is new multitasking features. So now you can just swipe from the bottom right hand corner to resize your window. So you can have a bunch of different windows open at once in whatever orientation or size that you want. This is similar to something like Stage Manager previously, except this is just a little bit more flushed out, a little more streamlined and smooth. There's also quick gestures like swiping each window side by side, so they perfectly fit on the screen. You can also swipe up and hold to view your home screen really quick, but they also have preset views if you go up to window, you can hit something like this grid orientation, which will perfectly fit all of your windows on the screen. This is great for multitasking if you want to play a playlist while you're scrolling Pinterest, have music on while you're planning, taking notes while you have your textbook open. I just love how custom you can make your multitasking window. You can resize it to be whatever you want. You can have things appear above or below different windows. It just gives you a lot of freedom to multitask in a way that best works for you. And this is probably what I'm most excited for within this update. Moving on, your iPad now has the journal app. So I'm so excited about this. This was originally a update that came to the iPhone and I absolutely loved this app, but now it is on the iPad. The app is completely free and it will come pre-installed on your iPad if you ever get a new iPad in the future. And what's cool about this is it will automatically sync to your iPhone. So let's say you were at a girls night at Chili's and you were taking a bunch of pictures at Chili's with your friends. Your iPhone would register that you were there and then when you went on your iPad later, that day, it would automatically sync to know where you were, what photos you took, and it would suggest you to add these to your daily journal. But you can also just add photos, videos, locations, voice memos, playlists, all of this can be added to your journal. And there's even a little mood tracker that you can add so you can put how you're feeling that day, whether you're feeling pleasant, neutral, or not very pleasant. And what's great about having this on the iPad is that you now get access to all of the tools that you get with your Apple Pencil. So you have pens, pencils, highlighters, and you can write on your journal just like you would any other digital journal. This is seriously a must try app. It is perfect for daily journaling. I love that you can either type on it or write on it with your Apple Pencil. You can also use it on your iPhone and it will sync to your iPad. It's just an incredible journaling app and I know that you guys all love journaling just like me, so you guys definitely need to check this out. Next, your iPad now has folder customization. So instead of just having all of your folders be the same color blue, you can now organize and tag them with different colors, different emojis or icons. So you can get even more organized with all of these customization options. You can have different folders have a certain color coding system or different icons. It just allows you to get even more organized and streamlined with all of your folders because I know that I have so many different folders and files and things going on. So having even more customization options just makes it so much easier to keep my organization system. And you can also put folders on your dock now. So you can just drag and drop any folder that you want onto your dock so that that way you can easily access a folder that you're using all of the time. 
And if you ever want to remove a folder that you previously had on the dock, all you have to do is press and hold on the folder on your dock and then there will be an option to delete from dock and then it's that easy. Another new app that we have is the preview app. This is an app where you can work with PDFs, files, images, but you can also scan things using this preview app. So if you open a page from your textbook, it will actually use the camera to scan that page and add it to your files. This makes it really easy to turn a physical into digital documents that you can then save and organize within your files. We also have even more updates to Apple Intelligence. So on your iPad, you have an app called the Image Playground, and this is where you can create a bunch of different AI generated images. So here I clicked a image of myself and I clicked scientist and beanie. So it created a photo of me as a scientist with a beanie on, which is just very random, but it's also very impressive and fun to play around with. But you can also create your own custom emojis with Genmoji. So just select any emojis that you want and it will create a combination of them. So you can create your own custom emojis, but you can also create different illustrations as well using the same exact process. And lastly, you get all of the features that come in iOS 26 that you get on your iPhone. I'm not gonna cover all of these, but I did wanna mention the iMessage backgrounds. So now you can go to any message that you have and hit background. And there's a bunch of different backgrounds you can choose from that Apple has built in. So they have different gradients that you can choose from. They also have like starry night scenes and cloudy backgrounds. So it's fun to be able to choose different backgrounds for different messages or group chats that you have with people. Let me know if you guys want me to do a full video on everything you get with iOS 26, cause I would be happy to run through those as well. But those are all the highlights of everything that you get within iPadOS 26. Definitely update your iPad today. These are all really fun, great updates and you get two new free apps on your iPad. So who doesn't love that? I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful and I will see you in the next one.